very boring Tuesday, same on thing. But I thought I would just jump on anyway and have a little walk around the city. I don't really have much to do. I uh, just finished work. There's a lot of people milling around. Um, the Christmas tree that goes up every year in the uh, what they call King George Square is up now, but the lights aren't on, which is annoying because I kind of want to do a time lapse of like lights are dark with the um, with the lights turning on and all that stuff. But yeah, people still checking it out though. We get a better look at it here. So they got like news people here doing a story on. Uh, the tree and you can see it's like all lit from top to bottom you can see boys are still going with it but this thing's uh this thing's actually amazing when it's all lit up the other thing that happens is here um the actual city hall so that exposure is a bit crappy but anyway um that all gets lit up with like a like an animated light show of things like uh the Nutcracker Suite and uh, a couple of other things. So that's cool when that's going. Once you got this thing, once you got this um, gimbal working, it's awesome. Uh, but the whole walking around and filming and all that kind of stuff takes a long time to get used to because it kind of like if you twist your wrist, it follows with your wrist instead of staying locked. Um, and when you lock it, it doesn't lock it in all like angles or whatever like it's a weird thing like, actually here I'll lock the lockdown now it's locked and then see it locks to behind me like it doesn't really it should I feel like it should like lock exactly where it is and not move anywhere but it doesn't really do that that's just something you have to kind of uh, I don't know practice that and get better at but anyway when I said I had nothing to lock I was serious nothing going on out here so I don't know I guess actually I'll tell you what I'll do I'll go through the mall and I'll show you the uh, I'll show you the festive uh, decorations in the Queen Street Mall So there, is, there are a lot of people in the city at the moment, I guess just because work's laid down and stuff, but this is nothing compared to when the Christmas party, Christmas party, when the Christmas uh, parade happens. When that happens, the street that I'm on now, this is uh, Albert Street, you can see back there is uh, where I work, up in that top building thing there, whatever. This whole street gets shut off, which is, um, I don't know, it's such a pain in the ass for people who actually work here because families and things all come in to watch the parade but then the people who work here can't get out because they block all the streets off. But so, imagine this street that I'm on but plus, I don't know, a couple of thousand people all to like Watch some camels. <laughs> Watch some camels walk up the street. So, and we're coming through here. It's one of the cool things they do is they they have uh, like a giant versions of like traditional Christmas tree ornaments, and they pop them all through here. So I'll show you this one. This is the um, train. Also, they put all these lights and stuff in the, in the mall, which is nice on these trees and that. There's another one you can see over there of like giant Dotty, like the old Enid Blyden books. Yeah. So, 
<coughs> so those work allergies are following me home. Um, other than that, there is one weird thing which, considering it's <coughs> Christmas time, oh man, I've been doing that like all day. Uh, in the outside of the um, the casino, every year they put up a giant. Uh, now I forget the name of it. It's the it's the candle holder thingy, the Jewish candle. I have no, I can't remember. I keep on wanting to say dreidel. I know it's not dreidel, but I'll show you what it is. Menorah. They've got a giant menorah that comes out every year that they put in front of the casino, which I don't know. Maybe like you can't have a Christmas tree and a menorah too close together or else they both spontaneously combust or something. But I'll show you that anyway. Alright, and here it is. Giant menorah. And uh behind there the uh, treasury casino full of people losing all of their money uh, so Chabad Brisbane is a, like a, a Jewish uh, community group uh, actually a group that my boss belongs to and uh, yeah and there you go just in case you need to know there's the spelling of menorah uh, just however it comes, like what's the standard, yeah, yeah. so Christmas isn't really Christmas without um, eating way too much food, so we're at Subway, checking out things. Can I confirm there's no E. coli in that lettuce? There's no, no E. coli, e. coli in that lettuce? I'm pretty sure you can that. <laughs> um, that was it, fresh. That was it. <laughs> Somebody's in the desert, they're seeing a mirage. Yeah. What is that about? Well, you can definitely have this. Do you think that that's what that's predicated on? Is an actual history of people having seen these oasis situations? No, 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 I'm just, um, I couldn't download that video from the thing, so I'm having to, like, play it on full screen and screen cap my screen. <laughs> it's a mission impossible. <laughs> what is no, it's all good, it's working. What's up? Oh, yeah, yeah. 